and I record it. I know how to record something, but now yeah. how to find it, how to find it uh, yeah. to go to that hamburger thing. Yes, and, then, and then go down, click on that, find it, then download it or whatever and send that to you. Then I want to be able to go through all this, you know, process of, of, and, and, you know, Austin, I want to tell you, I, I really appreciate you helping me. I really well, appreciate that's it. That's what I'm here for, brother. I, I really am. I, I don't want you to think this ends and I'm not sending you this video uh, and I'm not making this video with you because uh, I want you to think, oh, Austin's doing this because it bothered me. No, I'm doing this because I think you, it's not something you're going to do all the time. You know what I mean? Right. You don't embed videos all the time. So you'll, you'll embed videos and you'll get more comfortable with it. But by the end of the semester, you'll have quit embedding videos. And then the beginning of next semester will happen and you'll have access to this video and you'll go, Oh yeah, I remember how to do that. I'll I'll click on that video. You probably watch thirty seconds of it and go, yeah, 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 I got it now. That's that's the point of this video. But that's then right. you're, you're, then something else is going to happen, John, and you're going to go, how do I do that? Well, then I want you to reach out to me again, and we'll do the exact same thing. And ultimately, we might end up making another video. Maybe I don't know what it'll be. Uh, okay. How do I embed a PDF, Austin, or how do I use Flipgrid or something like that? Right. Um, so yeah, because I want to ask you. That's another thing I want to ask you. Like the videos you sent me about. You know how to you know go to uh, oh, OneDrive. OneDrive. How yeah. did you do that? You just showed the screen and you talked, and it was great. Yeah, I do that with uh, another software called Snagit, but I could do it right now with this. Like, are you seeing my screen again right now? Yeah, I see your screen. So, yeah. So we're back on your desktop for Blackboard, and that's where I want to start. So this is personalized for you. So you're looking at it. You'll be able to extrapolate from this all, all this to other courses you know it's not we're just going to this one right now but you'll go oh I, well i recorded in this uh on this course this other video and i want to get that and you'll be able to carry that right forward right forward okay. but yeah i like to do screen capture recordings and narrate over them and i like to do it with you because when you ask a question it'll be on the recording too and you'll and we'll go investigate that right then and that's the best way you know your teacher okay. it's the best way to teach so. it is it is a good way to teach yeah it yeah. is a good way to teach okay so, so so we're back on your, we're back on your desktop, okay? okay? And we're and you've done your recording in this course, so we're just going to enter that course. And you have put the Collaborate Ultra here. I'm going to collapse this. You put Collaborate Ultra here in your virtual virtual classroom. Right. Collaborate Ultra is also located right here for each course, and you right. can move that tool up just like you've done. But right. we're inside the session, so this is the recording that you, uh, one of the things that you've got going. Seven thirteen. It's twelve a.m. and it's available. And the, notice how the text is black. That means right. that classroom is still open, so you can still go inside that classroom. Okay. And so, but we're going to go look for your recordings that you've made. Now, okay. you've made this recording. It's right up here under this hamburger menu. So we're just going to click on that, and that's going to show your name, the sessions. That's this session here. Right. And then the recorded sessions are here. So you just click on recordings. Okay. And there's the session that you recorded. Okay. And so to access it, we can do a couple of things. We can just click on it and it'll say watch now. Okay. Our slide down here and we can say watch now, download, recording settings, delete, copy link, or add caption source. So right. for, for instance here, this is one of the things I do want you to remember, copy link. If you send me that link, so you just copy that link and then go right. to an email and say, hey, Austin, will you download this and load this to YouTube? I will just go right into the course and do exactly what we're doing now. I'll download the video so you don't even have to send it to me through OneDrive if oh. you collaborate. And then I'll download it and I'll load it to YouTube for you. And all you have to do is send me that link so I get that video because it'll take okay. me back to that video. Okay. And then you, that, well, that's what I'm going to do because this OneDrive thing, that saves me a step. Yeah. So, okay. So then, so then you will put that on YouTube and then you will send me the URL for that, right? As yeah. A, You'll have your own playlist, John, and okay. all your videos will be on the playlist. So whenever I load a video for you, I'll send you a link to your playlist. And the, the other thing I would say to you, and, and I will say this on the video, name, tell me what you want to name it, because when I download it, it's just going to call it Collaborate Session, and it's going to have a number after it. But if you tell me what you want to name it, so if you say uh, um, it, uh, Lecture on How To Speech, for instance, okay. Uh, okay, I'll call it that, and then I'll put your name after it also. And if you also tell me it's speech 1301, I'll create a playlist that's titled speech 1301 John Parrish. So that when students click on the video, they'll see all of your the John Parrish speech 1301 videos. So if they need to find something else, they'll be right over to the right also so that they can access those. 
Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. So the students, they'll go to YouTube and do this. Is that what they'll do? Do they go to let YouTube? Me let me show you that real quick, okay? Yeah. So let me show you that again. So uh, once I send you the link, so you're okay with all this. The other yeah. thing I want to add to you is right here. It says add caption source. That doesn't work because we don't have a a third party that we're paying to caption things. Okay. So don't don't pay any attention to that. So okay. just be aware of that. Delete once you delete it, it'll delete it and it'll be gone within uh, five hours. So if oh, okay. If you, All right. Now now Lawson, let, me, let, let me talk you through it. I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna set the thing up, record the session. Then I have to wait, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, because it never did come up. Then I go back and go into the hamburger. Go look there and, and look at the session, then come over here. Now, if I like it, I'm just going to watch it first. And then if I like it, I'm going to pull this back up and I'm going to say, copy the link. Boom. I copy that link and I can send that to you and say, yes. Austin, this put this under my speech 1315 videos. And this is welcome to speech class. That's the name of yes. the video. Then the yes. next one would be, this is how you do an introductory speech. And then the next one will be, this is a com uh, an informative speech. Then yeah. the next one, okay, okay, okay. Now they'll hope, now there'll be a library. You said there'd be a library or something. Of yeah, I'm gonna show you that right now. So okay. I, I don't have yours up yet because you haven't sent me any videos, but I'm gonna go there right now. I just loaded a video on for a, a faculty member here. This will give you an idea. These are all faculty member videos here, but I'm gonna go to our YouTube channel. So okay. this is the TCC faculty channel, Tarrant County okay. College faculty channel. The, okay. I'm going to click on playlists okay. and I'm just going to go to a playlist for you. So for instance, uh, this is Jay Simpson's accounting 2301 uh -huh. okay. class. So whenever I send you the link, John, what you're going to get, what, what the link will take you to is right here. Okay. Oh, okay. And so you'll, you, you'll see it. It'll say over here, speech 1315. Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 1315 mm -hmm. dot uh, uh, John Parrish. And then all your videos will be on here. OK, and okay. so you'll just be able to scan down. And like I said, if you used to call it, you know, uh, welcome to or how to do an introductory speech, you'll just look for that title and it'll be there. But if you notice, like hers are chapter eight, receivables, yeah. part four, learning objective five, then her name. OK, okay. now, and now, now okay. I want to show you. I okay, she's gonna, you. Does she uh, click? A, I'm sorry, I'm just going to ask if she wants to send that to her students, you know, as an email. As I'm going to show you right now. Oh, OK, OK. So, so, so you find the video you want, you go, I want to send this one. So I'm going to do this right now in front of you with her videos and we'll delete it from the course, of course. Okay. Okay. Just to walk you, through it. So you go right to the video you want to click and you just click on it. And okay. as soon as it opens up, you can just pause it so that it doesn't play. You can go just put your cursor anywhere on the actual video and right click. Okay. Right -click. Okay. So right click. And when you right click, that's going to come up and right there, it's going to say loop. Copy video URL, copy video URL at curtain time, copy embed code right there. Yep. I want you to click on that one. As soon as you click on that one, okay. it's copied the code. Then you just go back to your course, just like we did before. Okay. I'm going to go to lessons because that's where I would want to put a video. Okay. I'm going to add an item. And so I'm going to call this, I'm just going to call this welcome video again. Or no, I'm going to call it uh, how to speech. We're just going to play like yeah. that's what it is. How to. Uh, uh, introductory speech. Right, okay? right. So I'm going to call it that because that's going to be the title of the video there. Then I'm going to go down because I copied the embed code. I'm going right. to go to HTML, that button there. So remember, if that's not open, you just slide over here. You click on that, that opens. I'm going to go to HTML. It's going to open that big window. Right. I'm just going to paste the code in there. So there's the code appears. And I'm going to say update. As soon as I say update, I'm going to see that yellow box appear. That's the actual video embedding. I'm okay. going to slide to the bottom right. I'm going to hit submit. OK, mm -hmm. when you hit submit, it's going to load it and it's going to put it on the very bottom. So if you had 20 things here, you at first you'll go, where'd it go? It's always going to load it on the very bottom. OK, but if you want to move that up, you can move it right up to the top. But as you notice, now the video is embedded and they can click on it. Watch. And watch it right there inside your course. OK, OK, now. OK, OK, Gaston, that's great. Now, OK, all right. Now I've got another question for you. Sure. What if, what if I don't want to put it on here? I just want to send it to them as an email attachment to send uh, it to them through my, you know, through the uh, whatever we have. The OK, so, so same thing. 
you just go to your YouTube channel. So I'm gonna I'm gonna back up here again. Okay. Go to your YouTube channel. You find the video you want to. Okay. Send them. You click right on the video. As soon as okay. it opens, you can just pause it. I just do that because so it's not playing while we're talking. You can click here and do the the same thing. Right you click. Right. Copy copy the video URL code. That okay. You can copy that and send them that. You can slide right up to the search bar. Highlight oh. that. Copy that. Or you can come right down here. There's a share button, and you can do that and copy that code right there. And there, ah, are, there okay. are three options right there. I personally, if I, I was going to do it, and you're just going to send it in an email, I would copy the share code right there. I would just copy the share code. Just click right there. It'll copy it, and you've got that. Then just go to where you want to distribute it, the email. Just copy and paste that code in there. Let me show you what that looks like, actually. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. So if I went there and I was going to send this to you, uh, so there it pops up. There's John. Yeah. Uh, here's the video. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. You needed. Then I'm just going to slide down and I'm going to paste that code. And if you see it's blue, that means it's an active hyperlink. I'm going to hit enter and watch what happens. They take it a second. Hey Austin, are you doing when you when you when you uh, when you copied that code? Did yes, you just did you you press copy? But when you came over here, did you just press Control V? Yes. Or? Yes. Okay. That's okay. what I did. But I, okay, you could that's what I do too. Yeah, you could. I mean, if you're on a PC, you could just go uh, copy and then paste, and it'll it'll do the exact yeah. same. Yeah. I'm hitting yeah. Control V because it's an active hyperlink. And yeah. Because I've copied, yeah. That's, copied that's what I want to use. And do that. But once it's an active hyperlink, I'm going to send this to you. You'll be able to click right on that, and it will it'll uh, be live. But I'm okay. going to. I'm going to go to the sent video right there and just show you. There it is. There it, it is. Yeah. As soon as you click on it, it takes you right there. Oh, yeah. And, and, and you know, Austin, I like doing it this way because then, well, I didn't know how to get on that thing. I don't know what the, hey, it's an email. You know, well, open. I'll, show you, I'll show you something. So let's say, I'm going to show you this and you don't have to do this, but this okay. may be something you want to do. So let's okay. say this was your introductory to speech lecture. Right. You sent right. it to and there was a student who was not grasping a concept that you okay. highlighted in the video, right? Okay. And let's say that that concept happened. I'm just going to drag the, I'm dragging the video and moving the video. Yeah. Okay. So let's say it happens right there at, at seven minutes, 50 seconds. So I'm going to pause it right there. That's when I would tell you to go up here, do what I was doing earlier, where you're just somewhere on the video and right click and copy video URL at current time. Okay. Right there, I'm copied that code. So I'm going to go back again. And I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So send that to you. So I'm going to say this. This is the concept. Okay, okay, I was, okay. I was referencing. So watch. Uh, and so that. So sorry, I'm putting too many capital letters in there. So this is the concept <laughs> I was referencing. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to. I'm going to just Control V and yep. paste that in. Uh, yeah, for some reason, that's not an active hyperlink. It, it, it didn't make a hyperlink, did it? Yeah, so they're going to have to copy and paste that. Uh, just, to, But I'm going to send that to you. But same thing, So I'm gonna, that's a sent item. And so okay. I'm going to go back here. All they have to do is grab that, copy it, and uh, I'm just going to open up a new browser window to drop it in. They just drop it in their search engine there and watch. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, okay. It's playing right there at that. That's just that's extra. That's free, John. You don't have to pay for that part. I'm just giving that to you for free. But oh, it's thank something you, I, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. But it's something I, I that I like because if you've created a video and let's say you know you, there's a learning objective that they're missing and it's a on this in this case it's a 19 minute video. You don't want them to watch the whole thing. They're just gonna get frustrated. If you want to highlight that concept right there, you can just uh, copy that URL embed code at that moment and then okay. it'll go right to that. Okay. Moment. Okay. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay, good. So, so I'm going to kill that and I'm going to go back to your class. So this is in there. I'm going to I'm just going to delete this because you don't need it there anymore. So I'm just going to delete that and say, OK, that's gone. And so your welcome video is still there and you can you can do the same thing. I'm just going to leave it in there for now so you can get yeah, back to it. Yeah, leave too. it in there now. Uh, but you can just delete it, you know, by just deleting. And OK, now, it. Austin, I have a question for you. Sure. If, if all right, let's say that I have. Um, I'm going to have a group assignment, okay? Okay. Can my students go into like the classroom or into this because I've kept it open? 
can they go in there themselves and do a group presentation and then record it? Can they do that or not? Uh, you can set up a room for them, yes, and just send them the link, so yes. But they won't be able to record it unless you give them administrative control, okay? Which so, means, oh, okay. Which, so let's do that right quick. Which so means moderator, just, right? Moderator? Yeah, exactly. And so that's all you do, John, is you just say, I'm going to create a session, and let's say it's uh, Bill and Ted's uh, recording session, okay? Right, right. So we're going to call it that, and it's going to happen. We're going to make it happen right now, otherwise we won't be able to do all this stuff. But we're going to go to settings, and we're going to change the default role attendees to moderator, and okay. we're going to allow recording download, and then we're going to uh, um, say create, and okay. that's going to create that session. And then same thing, so this is Bill and Ted's recording session, and they'll be able to do that. They, we can join the session right now, and we can, because uh, um, it's, it's live, and we can uh, have that. So, if, but if we if it wasn't live right now, we could the copy link would come up here, just uh -huh. like you know, right here. Well, uh, right here, it's got copy guest link. So if it's, right. if, you're, if you're telling them, I've, I'm setting your session up so y'all can enter it at, for the next for four hours on Thursday, for instance, you said right, right, for, right. What you decide, and uh, you set it for them. You'll be able to copy the guest link and send it to them. Once they're inside the session, they'll be able to record their session. And then once it's recorded, you, because it's your Blackboard course, will be able to come here, click on recordings, and it will be right inside there. Ah, and then that way, that way I could send that, I could download that or do whatever, copy it. Yeah, you could just URL, here. And, and send that to everybody. Yeah, you could copy the link and just send the link to whoever you wanted to send it to. And they would be able to, they, you should say, this is the session. I want you to watch Bill and Ted's session. And yeah, this is yeah, that's a good so. idea because I do have these groups, you know, that that been done, and uh, um, and then they could they could you know it'd be four or five students maybe, and they could do yeah. their camera, they could do all that stuff and just share it, and boom, they could record it, and that's the ah, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. all right. So if you were going to do that, just to give you another uh, concept here, if you did that, you could come in here and add a create a discussion board just for Bill and Ted to work in and have and have written uh, work that they're doing where they're having a conversation and being able to have a discussion board among themselves just for them too that they could could, could talk about their assignment on. So if you're going to do that, you could set up discussion boards for each group and say, uh, I want to see y'all working and collaborating inside the discussion board this week on whatever it is you're asking them to do. That's so, one, I'm not telling you that you have to do that or anything. No, 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 that's a good idea. But so yeah, oh, I would just, I would just do it like I did this, uh, create a forum, right? A new yeah. forum, create a forum. Right. And name it what you want to name it. So Bill and Ted's discussion board on their okay, house. So let's build it, let's make it right now, Austin. Let's go in and, and create a forum. Can you, okay. and then we'll just say Bill and Ted's whatever, Bill and Ted's. How to, I'm okay, just gonna call it how to speech. Uh, right, right, right. Or their group, their group. Collaborative, let's call it. Yeah. Collaborative uh, discussion board. Okay. Discussion, sorry, I always misspell that word. <laughs> so we're just going to call it. Austin, don't worry about that. I told you the other day, the students don't read above the fourth grade level. Come on, don't worry about it. So, so we, after here, we can say display after or display and tell. I don't know if you're aware of that. So if you oh. want to limit their time on it, you can say, uh, we're going to display this starting on the 16th or whatever. We're going to display it now. It's it's automatically defaults to now, but so I'm going to leave it like that. But you can say they have two weeks to do this. So you can okay. set it up where and tell them, you know, uh, hey, your discussion board is up for two weeks. I want to be able to go to that to make sure, like on all group assignments, people are contributing. Everybody's contributing equally. I want right. to see. I want to see y'all have the gestation of your idea. I want to see y'all all work on the introductory paragraph i want to see y'all work on the body and then i want to see y'all work on the closing i'm just making stuff up here yeah yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. These, these are the, these are the structures of that so here's the description so you would include all of that here just you know on the okay okay so right here you would uh include what you wanted them to, to talk about here your instructions so this is the description here so you'd include okay. that here so i'm just going to hit the text tool and type in here and put you know whatever whatever that was this just the description of whatever we're doing and okay then I'm going to submit, and there's our discussion board. Bill and Ted's oh, okay. discussion, and it'll be open for whatever you want to, and then they'll be able to see this. And you can, you know, you can literally 
go in in teams or, or excuse me and collaborate open this up and build a bit short video telling them what your expectations are walk them through the assignment download uh make that a recorded session that's just you talking to them then right. send me the link to it i will load it on your youtube channel and then uh, oh, you'll have it's a good idea yeah yeah you could label it uh my expect uh our discussion board and collaborative assignment for your uh, video project or whatever you're going to call it. Right, right, right. Exactly, exactly. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, good. And so, same thing. You just hit here, and then you can delete that. So, uh, uh, I'll leave it up if you want, so that it, yeah, you know, I yeah. Can just, but um, so those are in there. Just remember they're in there because people will be like, Bill and Ted's how to speak. What is he doing? But yeah, that's another way you can use the uh, way another way you can use technology to get to to cut down on uh, you know you, and and uh, you know uh, if you think about it, John, you'll be able to look at this the time that they're spending in the course. And so when I send you that link for the video, what you could do is you can just come to lessons and right. do this: build a content folder. Okay, uh -huh. so I'm going to call that uh, whatever you're calling this assignment. I'm going to call it video and discussion board sorry group assignment okay okay oh, i'm gonna call it that and then uh i'm gonna put learning objective one and learning you know and it would be uh how to collaborate right uh, right but you're gonna want to write measurable objectives there you know like students will learn to collaborate in a uh, uh online environment students in the learning objective two. students will learn how to construct an introductory paragraph in a committee setting right. objective three and so you just light all that out there and, and then so those will be there and so i'm gonna hit submit and so that four folders here and the learning objectives are below it uh you can put whatever you want there this this will be due you can put the due date there or whatever you want to put there but then whenever you click on that it'll go inside that folder and then when we build those videos and stuff like that, you can put here's the video on the introduction to the assignment, which is three minutes long. Here's a video on what I, my expectations are for the discussion board portion of that. Uh, here's a video on the uh, uh, um, how to how to access your video session and okay. what expectation for recording, recording that. And if you break the assignment up like that and just label them uh, video assignment and then put that as learning objective three then right. they'll know exactly what you're talking about. And you, it, what I like about it for instructors when they're structuring it that way is, number one, they can you're talking about your learning objectives to the students and making them very aware of, of what your expectations are for the course. Number two, it's bite-sized chunks of uh, instruction to them. You know, if they understand how to use the discussion board part, but they're struggling on the video part, you can they can go right back to that lesson, which is focused on that. They don't have to watch a video that tells them about the discussion board first and then five minutes in or three minutes in, they're at the part about uh, what, you, what the expectations and overview of the lesson is, and then they get to the video part. They can click on the video that says, expectations for learning objective three, the recording recorded video session. Right, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Have and you can even, good. just so you know, you can even embed all of their discussion boards in here so all of that stuff is down here and all of that's under the video discussion board group assignment. So, you know, you could just come in here and say build content and then come down and, you know, add an add an add an item or whatever you want to do here, but add a discussion board into this video. OK, OK, OK. Uh, all right. Um, <laughs> Austin, you're getting a little bit deep for me here. OK, let's let's. Um, all right. Now, Austin, how if I how about if I want to show them how to use like how, you know like you did i want to show them let's say i'm doing a video i'm going to make a video and okay. i want to show them how to use the the uh, the virtual classroom how to record how to do all that how do i do that okay um so we're in i'm going to go back to your to i'm going to actually just go to the to this to this course uh home so i'm just going to come out of here and come to the announcements for instance all right so right. I'm inside of this course. So I'm going to go to the home page of this course, and this is it. Okay. So I want them to come here, right? Right. OK, so I'm going to slide inside of the virtual classroom. OK, I'm going to create a session and I'm going to say, what were we going to call this? We were going to call this uh, how to use virtual classroom or whatever, how to record on vir something. I don't know. OK. So how to record in virtual classroom. Uh, 
we're just going to be the ones recording in this, but I do want to record this. So I need, do need to say allowed down, yep. recording downloads. And so I'm starting it right now. It's starting right now on 715 at 940 when we're talking. Okay. So I'm going to start that right now. And I'm going to say create. And I'm going to say save. Okay. And we're inside there. So I'm going to collapse it right now. And so how to record virtual classroom is right there. I'm going to right. go in and I'm going to say join the session. Okay. So I'm inside there. I'm going to slide up. I'm going to say start recording. Okay. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to come down here. This is this is everybody that's in my class chatting. So if I want to say hello and they want to say hello to me, I'm going to hit that. And uh, and I'm going to be able to. Uh, uh, so there's nobody in here to chat with right now, so it's not letting me hit enter. But okay. if I chat, I could just hit that and hit enter and, and, and everybody would be here. But I'm going to say everyone here. So now that's down here and I'm going to say uh, hello and just hit enter. And now up there it says Mr. John Parrish is because right. I'm locked as you as I'm doing it. So uh, I'm going to close that because that's what that was just telling me there. The next thing is going to tell me my participants. So if there's right, more right. people in this, I'll be there. I can slide over as the administrator. I can make people a captioner uh, if I wanted to, but I would recommend that unless you've got oh. a professional in there because people can type all kinds of crazy stuff. But now I'm going to come over to share content. So now I can share a blank whiteboard. You know what we did did the other day. You know, I can come in here and write and have a discussion and change right. the pink color and all the things we were doing the other day. Okay, uh, I come here to this uh, circle with the square in it. Stop sharing. So I've stopped sharing that window. I can share an application or a screen. So right now I've got this up and I've got my screen up. I've got screen one, screen two, and screen three. I have three screens attached to mine. Um, is that, would that be the same? Is that be the same as mine? That that is mine, right? Yes. Yeah. So this okay. is right now. I have three screens. This is a screen, but right here on another tab is got an application window. So right now, there's there's how to use. This is the session we're in. The application that it's selling sharing is the the Google uh, uh, Chrome browser. Okay. So right. I'm Google Chrome browser. Okay. So I'm inside there. I'm going to say share that. So, so we're recording this right now, right? Ooh, yeah. what's that? That's the infinity window. So that's what I want to tell you. So right now it's sharing that. So I'm gonna have to stop that because that's it. Just keeps sharing that screen and that application. So okay. I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna say share screen, and I'm gonna share screen two. Okay. And it's gonna do the same thing. So this is why you have to have two windows to do this. So if you notice up here right now. There's a blackboard yep. tab open. See it right there? Yep. So I'm on the blackboard page. So I'm going to slide that tab over to my other page, over to my other uh, screen, I'm sorry. And so now I'm going to come up here and watch. Now I'm sharing my entire screen and notice on screen one, I have blackboard on screen two, which is the screen I'm on right now that we're on. I have the blackboard collaborate session open and on screen three, I just have another thing open. So now I'm going to share and watch because another screen I'm now sharing that screen. Okay. Okay. So I have two screens open, John. That's important to understand because that's the only way you can do what I'm showing you right now. Um, oh, okay. And okay. so, but if you have a laptop and you have a monitor that you can hook the laptop to, you can just open the laptop, have that be screen one, and have the monitor be screen two. So now I'm going to slide over to the other screen and my cursor, see my cursor moving around on there? That's no. me interacting with no. the other screen oh you, it's real small right there in the middle see it right there in the middle circling around oh, yeah 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 okay all right so now i'm over on I, it looks like i'm on the screen that you're seeing it on but really i'm on screen two on that version of blackboard okay and okay. i can come over and say all right students to access your virtual classroom session you're going to come here click on this that will open up blackboard collaborate ultra your sessions will be located here and I will have your sessions name for each of you. You'll right. be able to click on that. You'll be able to join the session. And once you join the session, you'll be inside your session. And this may drag here, but now I'm inside of the session. I'm inside two collaborate sessions right now. And now whenever you get here, what I need you to do, I've made you moderators of your course of this session. You want to come up here to the left. You'll want to start recording. Okay. Once you start recording, you'll see the session is being recorded and you'll see a red dot appear up here in the 
corner that lets you know that. And then to 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 present, you will slide over here and to present your content, you can come up here and you can share a uh, PowerPoint or right. you can share a Chrome tab here. And so okay. whatever they, you so you just walk them through the process of what it is you wanted them to do at that point. OK, does that. Help? Yeah, that that that's easier. OK, all right. Okay. I'm going to kill this other session because it'll probably start uh, uh, dragging us down here. Yeah, yeah, my, kill it, kill it. Yeah, okay, okay. And put us back in our session. And I'm going to stop sharing that screen here. So I'm just going to slide up here and stop sharing Austin, that screen. Austin, couldn't you do something like this, you know, without, if I don't have the two, of course, I do have another monitor, I could do that, but it's something called Flipgrid. Can't you use something like that to do this or not? You can't. Uh, well, to record your screen, no. Uh, well, it doesn't do screen recordings, but you can do this, and it depends on the browser you use. I'm in Google Chrome. I That's what I use. It. Okay, I've been recommending doing that. So I'm going to do share application screen again. All right. Now there's an entire screen, your application window, and then the Chrome tab. Okay. So same thing. And right there, if you look, I'm moving my cursor up there. See it? Yep. There's yep. a blackboard tab, and right here is that blackboard tab. You have to grab the right tab. The tab that I'm in right now is how to. It's a recording session. It's got a purple icon. I'm going to grab the Blackboard Ultra tab in Chrome. And now yeah. I'm sharing the Chrome tab inside the Blackboard Ultra session. Can you see that? Ah, and that's now I can take them through the same thing, John. And I'm only on one screen and it's not doing the infinity window. OK, so, uh, so same thing. Uh, I want you to come over to the virtual classroom. I'll have your sessions labeled here. Click on your session. You'll come to join session. I need you to slide side up. Uh, Okay. I need you to uh, slide up. You're still seeing that. Uh, you'll rec record the session by clicking here. S hit record. We're in, we're in back in our session now, and uh, it's not gonna let me join two sessions because I'm in that Chrome browser on the same. Okay. But okay. then you walk them through the process you want to say all that, and then come over here and do this, and then show them how to share their screen and how to get, collaborate with each other, and uh, and then they'll be done. Okay. Okay. Talk, take me through that one more time. How did you do that? One more time. No problem. So we're inside of Blackboard Collaborate session. OK, we, we're recording. We're recording a session right now, right? Yeah, we're recording. Okay. This is our session. This is our session. OK. Record. And so we've, we've already recorded. So I've got, it says stop recording here. But whenever they come in, they do they do record. But I'm going to start from zero. So this is just you and I talking about how to open okay. a, a tab on a, on a single window. OK? OK. So uh, we're recording our session, but we're going to come down over here to the purple Violet tab, we're going to come up. We're going to come to down at the bottom there. The first window you'll probably be in is chat. The next one will be the attendees. The yeah. middle one is share content. OK, we're share content. We're going to slide up to share application slash screen. We're going to okay. click on that. Then that opens up this window, which has three tabs in it. The first one is your entire screen. If you only have one screen, it'll give you that identity window. OK, if you go to application window and you only have one screen. It will do the infinity window. However, okay. if you come to if you're inside the Google Chrome browser, yep, you come I am. Tab, you'll come here. This is the session we're currently in. If I select that, I'll get the infinity window. But this is my Blackboard course, the tab that I'm in that I open for okay. my Blackboard course. And when I open a collaborate session, it opens a separate tab in Chrome. I'm going to select Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, my course that I'm in. Okay. Say share. That's going to open up that tab, and I'm recording inside my collaborate session. So now I can say, students, you'll be in your You'll be on the home page. I want you to come over to virtual classroom. I want you to click on virtual classroom, which will open up Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. I will have created your sessions. You'll see your sessions named with your names or however okay. you want. Uh, to enter that session, I want you to slide over to this menu. You're going to say join session. That will open up your session. I've made you administrators of this. The first thing I'm going to need you to do is slide up and start recording. Start recording, OK. And the next thing I'm going to need you to do is Come over to the per Violet tab. This gives you uh, opportunity to share your content screen. Yeah. So you're going to come here, click on this. You'll be able to share an application, your PowerPoint, or your Chrome window by doing this. And then okay. Okay. And you just want to walk them through whatever your expectation. Oh, OK, is. so so Austin, now when we did this, is if, if I record this, is there a way that I can get rid of this first part? You know, this is where, you know, because there's all that going and starting my recording and then pulling this down. I don't yeah. want to do that because that'll confuse them. I just yeah. want to say, OK, well, here's I'm what you do. 
Here's okay. exactly what you do for that. When you send me the link, just yep. go to the part of the video you want edited out, out the front of it and say, Austin, at, I want this edited from minute 12 back. I don't want any of that on there. Will you edit that minute, first minute and 12 seconds out or whatever it is you want to edit out? Oh, you can oh. even go in the middle, John, and just say, and Austin, from uh, uh, six minutes in to, to 6.50, uh, I stumbled. Will you edit out 6 to 6.50 and just tell me what it is you want me to edit out and I'll edit it out. Okay. Okay. So, oh, great. It's an edit. It's like you're an, I used to be in, I used to work in television a long time ago and um, um, I was a producer. And so I go to the editing suites and we edit out all the junk. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, all right. All right. All right. Good. Now, now let's see. I've got that down pretty much. Austin, he sent me the link or he sent me the uh, Denny, the guy Denny, Dennis Denny or whatever. Yeah. Uh, Eddie? Yeah, he sent me the stuff. Uh, now, if I go in one of those courses, how do I, um, how do I, how do I edit something or take something out of there or, or whatever if I want to put it in my course? So same thing. So I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, yeah. We don't need to be in this anymore, right? We, we're, no, we're, we don't need to be in this anymore. So I'm gonna come back here. Are you seeing my screen still? Yep. Yep. Okay. So once you load the course up, same thing. Uh, just go to whatever lessons you like and you can do a couple of things. So like, for instance, that I made that folder, for instance. So you say, yeah, I want to use those folders and I recommend using folders. Otherwise, you'll have 70 things down here, John. So group right. your assignments together using folders. So just come here and you can click on edit and you can okay. do a couple of things here. Like once something's done or you don't want to release things, you can make unavailable. I don't know if you're familiar with that. No. Um, adaptive. So like I can make this unavailable. So I click oh, here. Okay. It's unavailable to students. Uh, that folder until I want to make it available. So now I can make available and students will see it. And how you can tell that is when you're in your, so I'm in as you, right? I'm in as John Parrish. Right. Um, whenever I want to see what a student will see, and let's say I make this unavailable, I'm going to make right. that unavailable. Then I can come over here and I right here, I can enter student preview. Right. And you'll see that yellow bar at the top. Right. You see student yep. preview mode yep. is on. Yep. Notice that folder is gone. Yeah, okay, okay, right. okay. And so I'm gonna exit student preview. So it's gonna ask me that, and I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna exit student preview. And now my 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 course is reloading back up, so I'm gonna just I'm just gonna refresh. And now I'm gonna go to lessons. And, and there it there, is. Okay. There's the folder. Okay. 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 I see, so I can move a fold, but but Austin, how did you move that folder into this course from the, the shell course or whatever? So if I, want, if I want to move something like this is this is a folder so I can edit or move it or whatever I want to do. But let's say this video here, for instance. So I say edit. So I'm going to click edit. And I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say permit users to prove track number of views, select date and all those things here. Um, and this is a, I'm gonna see how, we don't have much in this course. And so there may not be much to move. Yeah, but uh, but it's from that other course. Oh, how do I move it from that shell course? So go, you go to that shell course, one of those shell courses. Okay. And, and we can move something. Okay, so I'm gonna come out of here. They're way down there, I don't know, let's see. Um, hold on, hold on. You're, you're, I think they're, See, there they are. A, A, C. Yeah, that, whatever. Yeah. 16, 13, 11. So here's this. So I've got edit, I've got make it available, I've got data release, and I've got copy. Okay. So I'm going to copy this and I uh, want to fit it to another course. So right here, as soon as I click copy, there's a drop down that appears. Oh, I can put it into my course. Okay, just like we do for the other. Okay, all so right. I copy it. So I'm gonna copy it to that one that we were just in. I'm gonna copy it to there. Yeah. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna say destination folder and I'm gonna put it in informative speech examples. Okay, so that's where I'm putting it. All right, and I'm gonna say submit. And now I'm gonna go back out and it should have been put here. Yeah. Yeah, and were those under here? I think under lessons, yeah. Lessons. So, no. Is it under? Maybe it was under announcements. 
Let me go back out. And welcome to my class. Let's go back out. Sorry, I'm just going to copy that content over. So we're going to go back to here. Yeah, that, that one right there. Yeah. So I'm just going to do. Let's do move. And so I'm going to move it to that course. OK. And I'm going to put it in the syllabus. OK. Course. And let's make sure it went inside there. Maybe I'm not getting the right. Maybe it's shifting me. Is the syllabus in there? No, I don't see it. It's not there yet. Where's my content collection? All course content. It should be. I guess when they load them, they put syllabus because I've always had it before. I've never really looked at one this early. Yeah, this is uh, I'm looking for the syllabus. I'm just make sure I'm sending that to the right course. So this is 11203. 11203. It's yeah, going it's somewhere. somewhere. It's going somewhere. Uh, so this is welcome to speak 1301. I'm going to go to lessons and I'm going to move this entire folder to. 11. Oh, I was 11. I was going to get to 11304. Uh, 11203. There it is. That's where it's at. So I'm going to send this to there. And I'm going to. Oh, so it's it up somewhere else in another yeah. class. Okay. Well, so I'm sorry. Uh, so that was that was me. I, I was just assuming they were in there. But now, now I'm putting this in that folder. Uh, but the following items could not be successfully moved. It'll let you know uh, what ah. did move. So it didn't move. I, didn't, I moved the folder. I did not move the contents of the folder. Okay. Um, I have to okay. move them individually, but now let's go back out and we're going to 11203 and we're going to go to lessons where we put that folder and inside that folder should now be the other folder. Yeah, there it is. Ah, okay, okay. So same thing, let's go back. I'm going to go back out. I'm going to, it's 11203. I'm going to slide back down to one of theirs here. I'm going to go to, uh, I'm going to copy this. So, oh, okay, okay. Uh, but okay, I've got that, Austin. How about if we how about if we go to one of their videos? To one of their videos in their okay. thing. All right. So let's go inside the assignment. I think and some of them have videos. I saw one. one. Yeah, they do. Let's find one perception and culture. I think that does. Uh, there's the PowerPoints. There's the assignments. Let's see if it's inside there. Nope. Uh, there's the checklist. Let's go back out. Uh, How about uh, midterm? Inter Let's see if it's in. Uh, no. Nope. Midterm? I saw, I saw yeah, there are it. some. Uh, we just have to find one. Let's see. Uh, we helped them build this course out. So let's see if listening. Is that, did that have a TED talk in it? Uh, nope. Well. Go to. Hey Austin, go to go to go to another class. Go to speech thirteen fifteen. Okay. Because this is this is they get really into. That's why I don't like this class so much. This one, yeah, there. That'll have something public speaking or something in it. Well, let's see. This, yeah. this one right here. There's one right there. Right there. So yeah. same thing. You, you can click here. Watch, and you'll probably reflect back on this. So I'm going to click here. And there's my video. Okay. If I right click on it right there, there's our little window. Ah. So you can do a couple of things. You can copy this over. Let's see, and, and but I wouldn't trust this because with video links, it's not real reliable. I would go through the process, uh, John, of, that we went through. Um, I would open the video up. I would right click it, and I would just uh, um, copy that link. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, copy the link off of YouTube. And that's a better strategy. I would just tell you, copying links that have been posted somewhere else can get sketchy, and that can be an inconsistent thing. But if you go to the original source and get the original source link, yeah, that's you're, what I'll do. you're always going to be foundationally better. That's what I'll do. And then I can build, you know, I can say, here's this, look at this. You know, because what I'm going to, what I found, you know, I don't know, I'm not used to online stuff, but what I found with my students well, most of them were not online students to begin with, but they like to get an email. They just get the email. They they open it up. They don't 
they're not all that familiar. Of course, you know, me telling them about Blackboard is like the blind leading the blind. So, yeah. you know, they don't know. But if I know, I can send them an email and say, hey, here it is. Look at, pull it up. Boom. They've got it. So that's what yeah. I'm going to do mostly. Uh, yeah. And so that's the uh, best strategy I would tell you to building stuff out. It also, I will tell you, like, if you notice in these courses, and I, I, you know, I just can't stress enough this. So this, this is lessons. And look, students see time there. So, for instance, this is a full semester. So one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, right. nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So it's a 16 week course. Right. With two right. finals, midterm and a, a final. Yeah. Uh, so so they're seeing each one of those folders as a week. And that's ah. why less, lessons are great. So the first week they're going to click on course orientation and they see a week there. They see a week's worth of material there. If that's the expectation, if you, okay. if you, you know, and so that's why, uh, number one, we like folders because otherwise imagine all of this, including right. all of this, whenever they come to lessons that they would just be going down, 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 down and just keep going because it would be 60, 70, 80, 100 things. That I see. I going. see. Okay. So lesson folders are in to build a lesson folder. You just come here and go to content folder. Okay. So when you build your lessons section, anytime you want to add a new folder, you just go build a content folder, then build that content folder. You know, they named lesson informative speaking, and then they have the expectations. This serves as an introduction to the course, including structure, instructor experiences, student resources, how to get started, and tools to succeed in the course. Uh, and then for depending on you and I just like this from because I just think this way you can say this can this is for week one this is for week two you can ah, put okay. on there and this is where the next thing lesson introduction to public speaking this is where I like to see learning objectives on there because it helps you that's my goal is always to help the inst instructor and when a student goes why well, didn't understand what you were saying there you can say well, and remember in lesson introduction to public speaking, learning objective one was overcoming fear. Students okay. will learn to identify causes for fear and how to overcome fear. Okay. Uh, now, uh, now also when, when I when I move a when I move a folder to my other course, it's empty, right? I have to go yes. into this yeah, like that one you're, you're clicked on right there. You would open it up, right? Yes. And then copy and paste. Is that what you do? Yeah. So you just come to come here and say, I want to copy or move, I would just move it. So just hit move and then pick the course you want to drop it in. And when you pick the course you want to drop it in. So I'm going to go back to that. Was it 1302? That's what we were playing with, right? Yeah, I think so it was the first one of fall 2020. Fall 2020. Spring 2020. It's down, it's down here. It's down, down, down there, right there. Up, down. 203? Is that I it? it was, I think it was. Yeah. I, think was, yeah, I think that was it. So I'm going to select that one and then I can browse for the folder. I want to drop it in. Yeah, that's it. And so I'm going to drop that there and then I'm just going to go submit. And now we're going to drop back out. We're going to come back to that course. We're going to go to lessons. Yeah, there's that folder. And there's that image. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. OK, 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 OK. So you just build it that way. OK. Yeah, right. whatever you like, put it in your, uh, you, you know, you're going to be moving stuff around, but I will tell you, folders, keep the folder structure. John, it's just a best practice that I, you know, it helps you because I promise you, if you have them in folders, you'll get used to it and your students will, you'll be able to direct them a lot easier. You'll be able to say, well, go to uh, introduction to public speaking. Inside right. that folder, there is the video on overcoming strategies for overcoming fear in public speaking or whatever it is you want to uh, point them to. And okay. so. You okay. can embed, you know, you'll be able to direct them a lot easier by uh, bringing them into those structures. Okay. That, that's okay. why when we build a peer developed course. If you look at them, the navigation over here is consistent announcements, lessons, course evaluation, syllabus, all of that is here. And when you go inside of lessons, we have everybody build inside of folders. Ah, uh, OK, OK, yeah, OK, I understand that. OK, good, good, good. All right, that helps me a lot. That helps me a lot. Um, yeah. Let's see. What else did I want to ask? I guess that's it. That's it. Now I've got to start recording my uh, my my uh, lectures or not my lectures so much, but my introduction and how to do yeah. this. I guess there are lectures and then send them to you and then I'll tell you where to edit. 
course. And what to do. Well, for instance, uh, and I'll just show you this right quick. The introduction to the syllabus so that whenever you get to the syllabus, yeah. you can walk. What? I, you're cutting out again, uh, Austin. And then if they ever have any questions, you can do the. Hey, Austin, you're, you're leaving me. Ah.